Sorry, we're gonna interrupt that really peaceful music to get real. The Dymo sucks. I have many issues with this printer from price to build quality to customer support problems and proprietary labels, but we're gonna save all of that for another video. I just wanted to make an announcement. I don't recommend that anyone go out and buy this printer because I'm showing you this wireless tutorial. Just don't, it's, a, it's not a good printer. But if you already have one like I do, might as well make it wireless. So the way that this even works is through a USB network print server. It's very crucial that you have a router that has a USB port. If you don't have a router with a USB port, this isn't gonna work. They do sell print server accessories on Amazon. That's another 30 to $100 that you're putting on top of your already expensive stupid Dymo printer. I don't really recommend that because you're just sinking more money into this old printer that's overpriced from 2004. I'm assuming that you've already hooked up your Dymo. You know how to plug in the power and the USB stuff and you've already installed the printer on your computer and it already works with the USB. But after you do that, you're going to wanna unplug it and then plug it into the USB on the router and then get on your computer open a browser. For my specific Asus router, I use 192.168.1.1 in the website field to connect me to my router's settings. That's the IP address, and it basically gets me directly connected into the router. It might be different depending on your router's specific brand and model number. It might be one or two numbers off, but you can figure that out with your router's manual or just using Google plus your router's name and model number. You're gonna wanna get into the username and password. Sometimes it's a default thing where you can figure that out also with your router's manual or with Google. A lot of times it's admin username, admin password, or admin 1234, something like that. And on the dashboard you can see our USB 2.0 port is already being recognized. Dymo label printer is right there. We're going to go up here to USB application. Network printer server is what we want. And they have something specific from Asus, it's nice, where we pull up the instructions on how to do it on Mac, and that's what we're going to be doing right now. So we go to printer and scanners, hit the plus sign, add a printer, and it's not gonna come up, so we have to go up here at the circle and hit adding it by IP address. And the instructions are quite easy from ASUS. We take our IP address 192.168.1.1. We're doing LPD, line printer daemon, daemon. LPR server, just like it says on the instructions. I'm not sure that what that does, but we're gonna change the name. We're gonna call it wireless Dinosaur emoji, because it's old. So yes, use, we go to use. Select software, and we're gonna search Dymo. Scroll down to Dymo 4XL. Hit okay, and add it. That pretty much set up the printer on the network. We're going to do another test print and see how it, it should be all set up. We're gonna do a test print and see how she goes. I'm in the bedroom. I'm going to hit Control P on the sample label, the wireless dyno. You always wanna make sure your presets are on four by six. That could be an issue. And you hit print. And we're gonna to go to the other room where the printer is. It goes through space. It goes through the router, and it eventually will come out of the Dymo. And that is how you print it wirelessly on a Mac. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or you wanna connect with me, the best place is in the comments section or on Instagram. I hope this helps somebody. Please don't go out and buy a Dymo 4XL new. There are 
there's better printers out there. So we'll be releasing more printer content specific to other people's needs and solving tutorial problems within the next couple of weeks in addition to other content that will be on this channel. So I do appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks again, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.